Hey guys, this is David Wong. I'm not sure how useful you're going to find this video, but I actually had fun trying to reproduce this logo here in Keynotes, but you can also try Freeform or this kind of, uh, this kind of uh, vector software. And I figured I would do a quick, I don't know, maybe five minutes video on how you can do these kind of things yourself. I can't remember what company had this logo, but I thought it was beautiful and I was wondering how I could replicate that myself. And the way I did it is that I basically create a shape that's a circle. Uh, so if you've used um, Keynote some, some before, you probably have this shape button. If you don't have these buttons, you can just add them um, by doing something like customized toolbar. But these are the buttons that I mostly use. And once I create a shape that's a circle, I sort of uh, click on shift and increase it. If I don't click on shift, I get that. So I click on shift to increase it with proportions uh, to create it the same size. And then what I did is that I noticed that these mountains here look like squares. So I basically created a square shape, uh, it's turned black. Uh, same thing, I increase it using the shift button so it increased with uh, uh, proportions. And then I rotate it. I think command on Mac is to rotate. And it, I don't want to rotate it freely like that. I also want to press shift so that I have these uh, nice angles. And now I have done my, my mountain. I can press option and click on that and drag it to duplicate it. And I can try and like uh, create these two mountains that I have um, in this part of the, the picture. So now what I want to do is to subtract these things from this circle so that it's basically white um, here. So what I do is that I'm actually gonna duplicate that circle for now, let's put it here. And I select these two things here and uh, you're not gonna see that, but I'm going to format shape and lines and unite shapes. So that I have a single shape for these things. And then I'm going to select these two things and I'm gonna click on format, shape and lines and subtract shapes. And this way, now I have this, this shape here uh, where um, whatever was here was removed from it. And what I can do is I can put that back here. Yeah, it's centered and I can give it a border and I can remove the fill inside of it to make it transparent. Now I have a border. Uh, here the border is of the same color, so I can click on color, get the pipe tool and click on blue to get that nice border as well. Uh, and I have something that pretty much looks like this one. The only thing missing is that line here. I can go in shape and create a line. The problem with this is that my line is gonna be squared here. I don't want that. So what I use is a um, rounded rectangle. And I, if I make it small enough, it becomes a line basically. And then same here, I'm gonna uh, rotate it, you know, pressing shift and command. And I'm gonna add that line here. Oop. And I can use my arrows to sort of move things in a consistent way. And now I have something that pretty much looks the same, right? And I can even group it so that I can just use that, that shape here. I could have clicked on format, shape and lines and, and unite shapes as well. But grouping is also a nice way to make modifications if, if I want to make modifications by ungrouping things or by if I, if I have a group by double clicking on the group and then I can modify things different uh, separately. So hopefully this was a five minute video on how to create your own shapes like that. Uh, if you like to make logos or, or create diagrams and illustrations in free form or in, in um, keynotes. And maybe, I don't know, if people like this video, I'll make more videos like that. I have no idea if this is useful, but I thought it would be fun to, to make a video like this.